Digestion starts in the mouth. We use our teeth to break up food into small pieces. The incisors cut, the canines steer, and the molars crush food. This mechanical transformation is called mastication. The salivary glands are also found in the mouth. They secrete saliva. Saliva moistens our food, making it easier to break up. This process is called insalivation. Once transformed, the food is referred to as a bolus of food. Saliva contains enzymes that start the chemical digestion process. Salivary amylase, for example, breaks down certain complex carbohydrates such as starch and glycogen. Our taste buds help us determine how food tastes. These are the small bumps on our tongue. Since taste buds are only sensitive to substances that have been dissolved, saliva plays an important role in our perception of taste. Food must be soaked with saliva for us to sense what it tastes like. The tongue is a very powerful muscle that propels the bolus of food towards the back of the mouth so it can be swallowed. In digestics, the teeth and salivary glands are game pieces associated with the mouth. For digestion to be effective, these pieces must be placed at the upstream of the digestive tract. This allows the teeth to break food down into several fragments and saliva to start the chemical digestion process. So when playing digestics, one of the first things you need to realize is that the game pieces only transform certain targets. Quite intuitively, the teeth transform food into fragments. But what about the salivary glands? They can also transform food into fragments, but they are not as efficient as the teeth in doing so. However, they are also capable of transforming food fragments into nutrients. And if you listen with close attention, you perhaps remember that salivary amylase breaks down certain complex carbohydrates. So to sum up, salivary glands have three targets, food, fragments, and carbohydrates. Mm -hmm.